class. Welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we're going to be learning about mid-segments of triangles. So we're going to start off with the definition of what a triangle mid-segment is. We have a segment that connects two midpoints of two sides of the triangle. So, for example, in our diagram we can see if I take the midpoint of this side, and we'll mark those as congruent to show it's the midpoint, and the midpoint of this side, and connect those two midpoints, I end up with the mid-segment. So that is the mid-segment. Now there are multiple mid-segments inside of a triangle. There's actually three of them. So in this diagram, I'm going to show you what happens or what it looks like if we connect all of the midpoints of our triangles. So if I do that, I'll do it in a different color. Here's the one mid-segment. Here's another mid-segment. And then here's another mid-segment. And it actually creates what's called the mid-segment triangle um, of our triangle. So that is what a mid-segment is. Now the triangle mid-segment theorem states that the mid-segment of a triangle is always parallel to the third side and is half the length of that third side. So let's look at what that would look like in a diagram. If I have triangle ABC, and let's just look at the mid point of AC and the midpoint of AB, if I connect those two midpoints, I end up with a mid-segment of the triangle, and we can label that, oh, I don't know, M, S for mid-segment, why not? All right, so what this theorem is telling us is that MS, the segment MS, is going to be parallel to the third side, so it's going to be parallel to the side that uh, that it's not touching, if you want to think of it that way. So it's parallel to the side BC, and it says that the length MS is equal to half of the length of BC. So that's what the triangle mid-segment theorem gives us. All right, let's look at an example. We have here, graph the triangle with the vertices ABC here, and show that the triangle mid-segment theorem works in this example. So I've graphed the points on my grid, and if I connect those, I end up with triangle ABC. Oops. Except we should probably draw straight lines. Try that again. B goes there. And so here's my triangle ABC. And it just wants me to show an example of why the mid-segment theorem works. So show an example that it works. So in this case, I can choose really any midpoints that I want to to make my mid-segment. So if I want to also find that the length, I want to show, so let's talk about what we need to show. I need to show that the mid-segment is parallel to the third side. And I need to show that the mid-segment is half the length of the third side. Because I'm going to need to find the length, in this problem, it's easiest to find the length of a horizontal segment. So I'm going to find the mid-segment that's parallel to CB so that it's a little easier for me to find the length of that segment. So I need to find, so step one, oops, we'll just write that here. Step one, I need to find the midpoints of two of my sides. And I've chosen to find the midpoints of AC and the midpoints of AB. That way I can have a mid-segment that's parallel to my horizontal side CB. All right, so the midpoint of AC is going to be 4 plus 6 divided by 2. And, oops, I'm sorry, I was doing AB. Let's look at that AC. So 4 plus 0 divided by 2 and 6 plus 0 divided by 2, which is going to give me the point 2, 3. And let's just check on our graph that we did that correctly. So if I graph the point 2, 3, it's right there, and sure enough, that looks like the middle of AC to me. All right, we do the same thing with AB. So I have 4 plus 6 divided by 2, and 6 plus 0 divided by 2 using our midpoint uh, formula, which is going to be the point 5, 3. So on my graph, if I graph 5, 3, that's going to be right there. And that definitely looks like the middle to me. So if I connect those two points, 
I have my mid segment, and we can name it anything. I like MS, why not? Mid segment. All right, so now I need to show, now that I have those, I need to show that it is parallel, and I need to show that it's half the length. So to show that something is parallel, I need to find the slopes. Slopes tell us that they're parallel. So my slope of MS, um, well, it's a horizontal line, so the slope of MS is going to be zero, and the slope of CB is zero. And we can use our slope formula if they weren't horizontal to show that they were the same, but I'm just gonna take those two pieces of information and state that MS is parallel to CB. All right, so that's one piece of my theorem. My last piece of the theorem, we'll put step three on here. I need to show that it's half of the length, so I need to find the lengths. All right, so let's see, extend my page a little bit. So I need to find the length of MS and the length of CB. So MS, and now in this case, because I chose a horizontal side, it's a little easier for me to find the length. So the length of MS goes horizontally from 2 to 5. So the absolute value of 5 minus 2 is going to be 3. And CB goes from 0 to 6. Absolute value gives us 6. So MS equals half of CB. Short little example. You know, if we chose sides that weren't horizontal, it wouldn't have been quite as easy. But that's what the problem was asking me to do. So we're done. And that concludes our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, math is fundamental.